She has six levels. Man, I should do these people's level up in case I need them, though, right? Well, old farm I'm not going to mess with. There's 15 levels. That's a lot I got to do. <laughs> How do you accidentally alt F4 yourself? She like. Oh, okay, okay. It's not highlighting like I can do it. What's going on? Jay, what are you doing? Should be here is where I need to be leveling up. I think she's bugged. Oh, maybe because Ulfar's messed up. Maybe. Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't know what the builder has. I haven't been paying much attention. Because I don't know what I want to do with her. Then with you, Heinrichs. Or you. I'm only going to need them possibly for their companions. The ones I don't ever use. Alright, so. Like Fellowship. Abilities that are targeted by the navigator's abilities gain a plus five to all resistance tests against warp effects. Allies that are targeted by the navigator's power gain a 10 to armor and additional armor is reduced. Okay. Whenever you use a navigator power that hasn't been used this combat, the navigator gets plus two perception until end of combat. She's going to use all of her stuff here. Let's use that one. Okay, so she has that one. All allies, including the master tactician, that have a weapon capable of area attacks, use these area attacks instead of a single attack to the enemies as part of the orchestrated firestorm. And last volley. All allies within the zone gain a 35% armor until the end of Master Tactician's turn. But if you're next to somebody, you're going to area effect, area attack everybody? Have burst fire. We'll use burst fire instead of a single shot. To attack an enemy as part of the orchestrated firestorm. Master Tactician and one random ally make two attacks. I don't know. All right, Pascal. All right, so we got to work more on Medicaid. His Medicaid is not too bad as it is. Because he's tech and Medicaid. All right, so... Power weapon. And then what else were you using? I can't remember. I keep changing his gun. I don't know if it's Melta or Plasma anymore. Heavy weapons deal too Forge World character in plus two deflection against the burning effects flame weapons. Wearing heavy armor, Forge World characters get one movement, one deflection. It cannot fall prone. 
can use persuasion, coercion, and commerce based on intelligence instead of fellowship. I'm okay with that. Uh, which one are you using? Using that one. Agility isn't very high. I'll pray suffer a three to perception. Which is pretty low. I reduce by agility bone. This is low. Everything is low. Um, I'm just gonna do that one. You're elite. I don't know what to do on this one here. Um, and I could give you Drukari weapon proficiency. Maybe it's between that or leveling up some other skills. Because I can give her more Xenos skill. Character gains plus seven uh, to Xenos lore. I don't know if I really need to put points into that. You know, we're just going to do Drukari. I don't know what else to do with her. Yeah, I don't know what else to do with her. All right, Drukari. We're going to wear the enemy's armor. Uh, Where was that at now? Drukari. Drukari weapon? Do it. We might find something better. I don't know. She has a really good weapon, though. Uh, you using this one? Till the end of combat, the target of the dispatch loses half its current armor and deflection. Deals additional damage equal to forty percent of the target's missing instead of twenty-five. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. We got Abby. Abby's the last of the normal group. Um, toughness maybe? Can't do weapon skill or strength, so I'm thinking toughness. Do that. Oh, okay, yeah, we're going to try to do Drukari. We Ooh. He probably can't do Drakari weapon. Um, he's gonna need Xenos lore, and he is terrible at it. All allies affected by brace for impact gain a thirty percent to cover penetration. He's never in cover, so that would be do me no good. All allies affected by Brace do not suffer a negative effects. He's never close to anybody. That's the problem. Pure World character get a plus 10 critical hit chance and a 10% armor against Xenos demons.
Abby, I don't know what to do with you. Yeah, he's my last guy to level up. That I am leveling up. These four people, I don't ever use them. I may have to come down to it if I have to use them for, uh, for companion quests. Maybe swift movements? I mean, it's I mean, it's always nice to have extra movement. I'll do, I'll do that. Okay, which one do you have? Last one? And yeah, we'll just do that, too. Alright, we're done. Keeps her level 35. Let's go to football. See what we got. It took a lot longer than I expected. Brave merchant. Ruined by his competitor. A lot of all like every companion had a quest. Oh, your elite wants to talk to me. Okay, we'll talk to her before we leave. Footfall. Alright, so we gotta talk to your elite. I guess before we do anything. Uh back to the bridge. Where's she hiding. Maddie fall asleep. She might have. She might have. She is old. Right? She says she's old. She can fall asleep. Alright. Really. I have no idea where you always hang out at. Jay is there. Pascal. She in the front front? She's in the, all the way in the front. So far. Um, okay. There you are. You're down here in the corner. Diaper party for your friend? Your friends wear diapers? The Dark City released us from its thorny embrace. <laughs> the wounds of the body will heal. But what about the wounds of the soul? Cruderock fell, and its demise shattered the fragile lives of countless children of Osirion. Scattered across this part of the galaxy. Hounded by the monkey, pursued by the dark cousins, imprisoned by the servants of she who thirsts. Soon, dang it, soon. When you get into a home. Hatred is strangling me like a snake, and fear is coursing through my body like a burning poison. For the path I chose is leading me down the roads of failure. I can neither hold back my grief, nor rein in my anger. And yet, I am powerless to stray from my path. she crying? Still crying on the rogue trader. Pay no heed to my fleeting wrath, Anantok. When the will slips away, the soul trembles with rampant emotions. But I will resign my heart to meekness. For there is no other way a marked outcast can help their fellow Eldari wandering in the dark. Many terrible things happened in Kamora. Are you alright? I found myself in the Dark City 
After following the twisted roads of truth and lies, and although the truth blossomed like an ugly bud and scratched my soul with its thorns, I did find the answers to my questions. Those who come back from the dark of the webway will never be the same. But it is we who change while the surrounding world remains I imminent. I had that too as a kid. Dang it. This thought gives me strength. Uh, the Kudarak suffered in an unenviable fate. I'm sorry. The world is lost. I have no need for your sympathy, Ellen Tuck. Besides, neither Monkey nor my dark kin found the decaying remnants of Kruderok. Perhaps all is not lost. Perhaps we may yet bring back what has been taken. What will happen to the seer now? Clendil chose to stay on the Lilithon together with Muaran and the rest of our kinsmen. Perhaps it is for the best. The stars in this part of the galaxy are hostile to the children of Asurian. So where does the path of outcast lead you now? On the trail of a monkey called Caligos Winterscale. Even a worm may harm a wounded tiger by bringing infection into an open wound. And the wounds of my people have been bleeding ever since Kruderok's demise. The spirits of my kin need a poultice, a hope, not the executioner's sword already poised to fall. Uh, other questions? You may try. I will try. Alright, Footfall is abuzz with rumors of Xenos ravaging the sector. You think it could be your kin? Is that snake venom seeping from your lips? We, the children of Azurian, are no strangers to the art of war. We are not raiders, or butchers, or least of all, fools. When a craft world is beset by calamity, its inhabitants do not start a war with every monkey in the sector. If you are looking for enemies, look for them elsewhere. Uh, how do craft worlds even work? Explaining it to you feels like singing a paean to the beauty of deep waters and coral forests to a bird, Ellen Tark. Your mind's limited understanding of the world can hardly contain the contours of endless wraithbone spires, the intoxicating scent of a garden blooming under a dome of crystal, or the silver babbling of a brook that runs through the whole world. And all this encapsulated in a single vessel that shines like a star on the velvet drape of the void. A craft world is a fortress, an ark, and a home to millions of Eldari. It houses webway gates that connect it to the numerous worlds of our kinsmen and armadas of false machines that crush outside enemies. We can all be warriors, and our wrath is terrible to behold should the foe approach. But during the time of peace, each kinsman is free to follow their own path, shielded under the protection of those who follow the paths of the warrior and the seer. <laughs> what was your world like before it fell? Kruderok cannot be described in your language. It can only be sung, encased in a filigree of sounds, a melody as complex and delicate as the infinity circuit, its energy network. It can be seen in the golden hues of sunlight, felt in the breath of celestial winds. Though it was an artificial world, it was just as alive as any real planet. It'd definitely be cheaper, but I understand. I wouldn't want to mess with dirty diapers where you have to rinse them. I think that's just gross. But I must see clearly. Not only light, but also shadows. 
I yearned to remember only Kruderak's beauty, but it had a dark side too. My world was isolated for too long. Like a lake of stagnant water, there was no movement or renewal, and even the sweetest outbursts of life soon turned fetid. Who knows? <sighs> Who knows? Had there been no stagnation? Had our elders not been so blind in their dogmatism and our youths not lacking in courage, then perhaps... Crude Rock would still be alive even now? I, I think I know that line. I cannot think of where it's at. Dang it. I think I know the line. Uh... Keep mentioning she who thirsts. What can you tell me about her? Why ask this question? It's Slanesh, right? Is it idle curiosity or something else? Do not turn your thoughts towards Cylon Thresh. Yeah, Whatever your I can't motive, think of it. she is downfall. She is hunger. She is the enemy of all that is good in the universe. She is an enemy to the Eldari, and I hope to you as well. Wait, they got a symbol spammy Nightbot. What the? Chaos gods are the enemy of the Imperium, which means they are my enemies. You can be sure of that. We are as different as starlight and its reflection in a muddy puddle. But we share a common enemy. Constancy is our strength. <laughs> you like to Walt. <laughs> uh, you're my gratitude. As you wish, Elontark. I can understand why you don't like people, but I think there's something else, something I cannot understand. What do I see? Your words ring with the desire to know the soul of another. But will you be able to comprehend my answer? Ah, uh, you're kind of vague on about everything. You and I, Elantak, look at this world in very different ways. And I see many more facets. I haven't seen Joe and Dirt in a long time. And brighter colors in it. But to capture the full truth of this world in the miserly language familiar to your ears will take time. I will come to you with an answer later. What do you think is happening on, on Janus right now? The Lilithon is purifying herself of the corruption brought by the servants of Cylon Thrash. Gardens and birds, animals and people. Many are gone forever, and even more are corrupted beyond healing. But the Lilithon is stronger. This world will live. My kin are probably still looking for a means to enter the webway. May the Lilithon spirit aid them in this endeavor. Beyond the gate lies salvation, and perhaps even knowledge about the fate of Kruderok and the remaining survivors. Why did you agree to join me? Is it not strange for an Aldari fellow and human? The outcasts my path led me to had a saying. Let me translate it for you. If you fall off a cliff, grab the roots and do not ask if they belong to a weed or a noble rosebush. You are the root I grabbed, Elantak, because I fell off a cliff. My home world is gone. My kin are either dead, or hiding no one knows where. By joining forces with you, I may be able to nurture a seedling of the truth I so deeply yearn for. Am I still unworthy of discussing your world and your kin? She nods. Hey, did I get a quest from that at all? Uh, 
almost dead. Okay. No! We'll go to footfall. All this chit chatting. Are you trying to pick a fight with uh, Nightbot? All right, uh, that's not done yet. Okay, Dargonus. Why are we in the red? You have a gamma. Oh. After the decompression of Lady Theodora's secret workshop, you have a gamma epidemic of a mysterious tech leprosy has broken out. Augments mutate into distorted forms, killing their hosts and the machines. The entire assembly halls break apart from the fragments that devour each other, building into grotesque and insane forms. The Omega-18 manufacturum, the epicenter of the epidemic, is cordoned off, but the disease will burst out of it sooner or later. Purgator squads? Sure. Be done. You return to the workshop. Small outbreak munitions have been detected. They did not come as a surprise. They were isolated quickly. Okay. Inferno. Oh, for my ship. Better ship stuff. I want that weapon. Execute. Okay. Vibos. Uh, some plastic. Or extractums. I think that's the route I want to go. Oh wait. Oh, plus five profit factor. Uh. Sign me up. Okay. Now we can get out of here. All the networks down for PlayStation? That sucks. Okay, so we need to go to Football, which is down here. All I want to do is get the football. That was a nice, safe tr trip, too. <laughs>